Namaste. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to calculate degree of freedom in SOLIDWORKS. First of all, we will do assembly. After that, we will calculate degree of freedom in SOLIDWORKS. So, in this assembly, the base of the the base of assembly is this part base. So, right click on it and select fix. After that, we will do our mating as per the requirement of the assembly. Go to mate, select this circle and select this. Select co-centric mate. Click OK. Now after that go to motion study, select motion analysis, after that select this apple icon. Now in this case we are uh, seeing that it is asking about the gravity parameter uh, that means in which direction gravity acting. So select this edge. Now as you can see the gravity is acting downward direction and the gravity of and the value of gravity standard that is 9.8 meter per second square and in mm 9806465 after that just click on ok now just simply click on calculate you don't need to select any motor spin etc whatever just simply click on calculate After that, go to mate, right click on it, select degrees of freedom. Here, you can see your answer. It, uh, as you can see, it tells all the number of constraints, total actual degree of freedom, total estimate degree of freedom, how many are moving parts are there, how many are cylindrical joints are there, how many are planar joints are there. I hope this tutorial is useful for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe us for, uh, to motivate us. Uh, uh, there, if you want to contact me, uh, please go to the description. Thanks for watching again.